Hey guys, Devin Exion here. Who Am I is done. It is finally done. The full movie edit is still up and you should definitely check it out. You should probably download it too, so somebody can re-upload it if Hasbro sends me a strongly worded letter like they have with every other fan-based pony movie production. Regardless, one might wonder, now that my biggest ever project on this channel is done, what happens next? Aside from all of the potential behind-the-scenes footage I've recorded and accumulated, Come on, baby. Many of you have asked me to continue the story of Who Am I and, you know, write a sequel. So, will I do that? In all likelihood? No. Why? Well, I just... I actually never intended to write a sequel to Who Am I. Minor spoilers here. But the reason I ended Who Am I Like I Did was because of two reasons. Firstly, I wanted it to have a bigger impact on you. I wanted it to stay in your mind for a while, so you could ponder on how you would want it to continue. Which leads to my second reason. When I first wrote Who Am I, I had aspirations of it becoming super popular. And a part of me deeply hoped that someone else would take the torch. Meaning that just like how I wrote a, se a fan-made sequel to My Little Dashi, someone else would come along and write a fan-made sequel to Who Am I? Then, if it was good enough, I could just point to it and say, that's canon now. A user over on fanfiction.net actually told me he'd write that very follow-up, but in his last PM update, he told me his laptop had died, along with the story. Whoops. But of course, the more attention Who Am I gets, the more incentive I feel to write it myself. I've already thought about it a ton, thanks to you, and I have some ideas, but I'm worried that I can't do it justice. My Little Dashi and Who Am I shares a couple of things in common. The discovery of who you are, the question of where you belong and who you belong with. The mystery that makes you look up into the sky and ask, what is happening? Why me? As well as the heartfelt moments that are spent with the protagonist in Rainbow Dash. The main reason I was able to recreate this in Who Am I was because of the memory loss. But now that I've done that, I can't exactly do it all over again for another story. If I were to force a sequel to Who Am I, it feels as if it would be too different and take on a whole other theme. So until I'm confident that I can do this, that I can continue the story in a way that honors the previous installments in the right way, I'm done with Who Am I. I still welcome any of you to write down how you would want the story to proceed, and if it's good enough, I'll probably do a reading of it if you don't mind. But as for me, I do have another project of comparable size in the pipeline. You see, little known fact, Who Am I was not the only fanfic I ever wrote. There is another. And the reason I only wrote two fanfics was because this second one grew so large that it took up all of my time. Today, it is a full-length novel. I've mentioned it long before, but it is called Tantibus. It is a gruesome horror story coated in a layer of mystery. I've loved working on it, and still am. Though the story itself is done, I'm doing to it that which I should have done to Who Am I? To go through and fix it. And I'm not talking about the occasional spelling mistake, I'm talking a full-on rewrite. Updating and developing the language, making it a much more exciting and detailed read. This is a long process, and thus far I am two-thirds through it. So to answer your question, that is what happens next. Am I going to give it the Who Am I movie treatment? No, that would be impossible because of Tantibus' size and its original locations and characters. You know, I can't just Google for backgrounds. A regular reading, though, is very possible, and that is what I'm considering. What do you think? How should I release Tantibus when it's done? What can I do with it to make it truly exciting? Give me your thoughts on this, as well as on the possible continuation of Who Am I, in the comments below. Thanks for watching.